William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Omar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. Thursday here, two days out from fight night in Leeds, joined by Jason Wellborn. How have you been uh, since December, was it, you fought Jarrett Heard? Yeah, yeah, same, man. It's the last, that was the last time out, so it's good to be back, like, boxing a bit more local than travelling and that, but uh, camp's gone well. Uh, just looking forward to it now, like, getting there now, obviously, your last few touches, at press conference, and it's the build-up now, so obviously it's seeing all the hard work now, but mm. everything is down for Saturday night. Mm. When me and him get it on, and we go toe to toe, and we have a war, and then we go. And obviously, I've got to get that win, no matter what. People are probably he's probably looking at Gateway Lee, where well, well, he's been British champion, the boot getting back up there. But you know, I've worked hard where I've got today to be obviously giving it away at this level. I need to get back where I need to get, and uh, go from there, like. But mm. one step at a time, just get a win Saturday night. Leeds a bit different to LA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, we've just got here, like, it's been raining, it's a bit, weather's a bit better from Boyle's like, it's been raining for the last five days, solid, but uh, it's just, um, I'm just glad it's all here now, it's been a long camp, long, hard, draining camp, and uh, just getting in there now, and uh, getting back in there, like, since the last one. Mm. You're in a really good match-up uh, against JJ Metcalf, what do you know about JJ? Nothing, mate, I've sparred him uh, back in the day, a couple of years ago, I think, about three years ago. Um, Anything from that sparring? No, it was just you could go on sparring. It was just a little six round, like got the rounds in. But uh, I've, what I've, I've watched a few of his fights. Um, it could be an exciting fight. He obviously, he turns. He looks like he's he's an owner's a bit come forward, strong, let him let him go. So that's all I really know about him, like really. Mm. Yeah. Of course, you had a, a slot on a pay per view card last time out. Uh, you'll be on a prime time uh, come Saturday night on BT Sport. So. Mm. So it's been a, a decent patch for you. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good to get back in there, get back in there under the lights and um, just get that win. And uh, obviously, I've worked, like I say, I've worked hard to get to get where I got today. And um, at least it's a Commonwealth title. This is my first of a vacant title I've ever fought for. Mm. I've always been, obviously, I've always had to take it off the champion. So this time it's vacant. He's coming to win. Um, so I've just got to put a stop to that and uh, just basically get more win to progress where I want to be aiming for in the next 12 months. I remember before the herd fight uh, a lot of people saying this is kind of a ridiculous matchup you just can get rolled over yeah. and uh, you put up a really good fight you started off really well um, seemed like you hurt Jarrett obviously he come back with a, a brilliant body shot to end the fight um, what did that sort of do for your career going forward being in the ring with someone like Jarrett Hurd? It's obviously the experience at that level of the the pressure and everything what you got on you but look to be honest I had no pressure I went there to win I trained hard and I've just progressed even on to this fight but um it, it was a it was a, it was a good camp what I had for that everything went wrong and in the fight I felt strong I was catching him I was getting to him and as a fighter you can tell I did hurt him with a few mm -hmm. shots and um it's just he tapped me low a few times I lost my head I squared up which all through camp, that was square up, but I did lose my head. Through that staff right hand, and he caught me with a caught me with a good shot, but it was what 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 prolonged that shot. Like, um, but that's obviously experience. I've got to just keep to my boxing and keep my head on the game. What I got to do and keep focused, which I didn't do. So that's something what I need to take into this fight. As you said, if you do go grab that Commonwealth, then you're bound to be in big fights from there. Yeah, well, I'll just get the Con I like the Commonwealth title, um, and as soon as the fight is announced, my girl, my, my girl, more my wife, my wife, and uh, my <laughs> you slipped up there. But because uh, I was, oh, I was then gonna, get I was say my little girl, um, <laughs> obviously my wife and my girl, they love the belt, the <coughs> rainbow colour belt. So when the fight got announced, oh, you've got to go for that, you've got to go for that. So that was another reason why I took the fight as well. But it's on a, it's a good card. Um, if Frank Warren can do something with me after this fight, we'll see. But uh, look, I just got to get this win, and obviously I don't. I at the stage of my career, I want to be defending the Commonwealth title, and I've won the British, I've won the WBC, I've defended my British, I've fought for a world title. So this Commonwealth title on a good bill, and then I'll, obviously then I can progress on to obviously European, 
World Title Eliminators, that, that's where I want to be at, and that's the camps what I need after this one to mm. keep motivating me. Mm. All right, Jason, appreciate your time on IFL. Wish you the best of luck with Saturday night. No worries, and catch you a word after. Cheers. Thank Top you. man. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.